साथीहरु नमस्कार गर्दै स्वागत गर्न चाहन्छु तपाईहरुलाई आजको हाम्रो भिडियोमा आजको हाम्रो भिडियो अडिट सम्बन्धित रहने छ साथीहरु आजको भिडियोको विषयवस्तु रहने छ एक्सप्लेन अबाउट बेसिक प्रिन्सिपल अफ गभर्निंग एन्ड अडिट एज पर एनएसए 200 एनएसए को फुल फर्म हुन जान्छ साथीहरु नेपाल स्ट्यान्डर्ड अफ अडिटिङ हामीले तल एन्सरमा पनि लेखेका छौ तपाईहरु देख्न सक्नुहुन्छ सुरु गरौ आजको हाम्रो भिडियो NSA 200 Nepal Standard of Auditing describes the nine basic principles that governs the procedure of auditing. It lists out the roles and responsibility of the auditor and is a general code of the conduct during an audit. One number Integrity, Independency and Objective The auditor has to be honest while auditing. He cannot be favoring the organization. He must remain the objective throughout the whole process his integrity must be must not allow any malpractice another important principle is independency so the auditor cannot have interest in organization he is auditing which allow him to be independent and impartial at all times this is the number one confidentiality you Audit uh, audit governing principles I mean, I know what I know what I know what I know what I explain what I know 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 the auditor must be experienced and trained in procedure of auditing that must be qualified as an auditor and as a professional he must be up to date on research changes announcement rules etc this is gari sathiru char number ma huna jancha work performed by others the scope of audit at times can be very fast so an auditor as employees delegates and other people who are under him However, the auditor must continue to be fully responsible for the work done by these people working for him. This is the number of documentation. In most of the cases, the auditor maintains an audit notebook, an audit plan and auditing files. It is important the auditor keeps a record of important document with respect to his audit work as it is evidence of the work the auditor has done. This is 6 number planning. An audit plan allows the auditor to plan out his work and enable him to be more efficient and timely. Every audit plan is different as it has to be customized according to the types of organization, kind of business they conduct, the scope of the audit, the efficiency of internal control, etc. Satiru Sat number Mauna Jansa Audit Evidence The auditor must collect enough evidence to support his final opinion. This collection of such evidence is done by compilence and substantive procedure. There are two sources of this evidence that internal and external. Satiru Tisegari Esku Atna Mormara Hekosa. Accounting system and internal control. The auditor has to assure that the account of the organization are accurate and represent a true and fair picture of the financial status of the company. Also, the auditor must ensure that all the material information has been recorded in the account. Sathiru Tisei Gari, Esko Nau Athaba on team number ko point maar hai Audit, conclusion and reporting. <coughs> After the auditor collect all the evidence, he must now from his opinion on the basis of the following criteria. All the relevant accounting standards were applied at all times. Financial statements are in compliance with all regulation and statutory requirements. The third number is all material information has been disclosed. Sathiru, eti nauda bae audit ka principal eru. आशा गर्छु तपाईहरुलाई हाम्रो भिडियोले पक्कै पनि केही न केही मद्दत गर्यो होला साथै आज भिडियो आउनमा अलि ढिला भएकोमा माफी चाहन्छु भोलि देखि फेरि पनि हाम्रो पुरानै टाइममा भिडियोहरु अपडेट हुने बाचा गर्दै हजुरहरु माझबाट बिदा हुन चाहन्छु हस्त धन्यवाद थ्यांक यू फर वाचिंग आवर भिडियो टिल एन्ड